I want to give you real quickly seven lifestyles, seven lifestyles of living in a recession-proof or a debt-proof zone. This morning, you were introduced to the concept, I am living in a debt-free zone. Many of you were running. Many of you were shouting. Many of you were giving. But let's talk about the practical steps to implementing this debt-free zone. See, this is not just the time for the church to, to preach cute little sermons with no information that suggests how can I actually experience the debt-free zone? How can I experience, how can I implement a hedge of protection uh -huh, around me during this season of economic opportunity? The first lifestyle is a lifestyle of learning. This is the season for you to learn. This is the season for you to accumulate more information. This is the season for you to be a listener rather than a talker. This is the season for you to be in tune to that prophetic DNA that exists in each and every one of us. This is the season for you to be an intellectual person. Young people, it's okay to be smart. It's okay to have more information than the next person. What is 2 Timothy 2 and 15? Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The second lifestyle is a lifestyle of consistency. You see, to be successful in life, you have to practice success daily. To be excellent in whatever you choose to do or whatever you have determined your divine purpose is on this planet, then you have to practice the process of execution daily. See, once you have access to information, have you ever heard this, the more truth or the more information that you have access to, the greater level of accountability that you have. That's why when you are introduced to the life-changing power, the life-changing word, then you have a responsibility. You now have a greater sense of accountability than the unlearned or the ignorant. There's a price that comes with being intellectual. There's a price that comes with being awakened, per se, or being enlightened, or having a little bit more information. Think about it. There's some stuff you really wish you had never heard. There's some stuff you wish right before your girlfriend, who you think is your girlfriend, uh -huh, you know those, the one that you're standing here smiling, and while you're smiling, what are they doing? Stabbing you? It, okay, okay, you know what I'm talking about. You see, you should have hung up the phone before you got some information that they intended to hurt you, but disguised it as if they was giving you information. Some information is not good information to have, but now that you have it, guess what? You're now accountable for it. Lifestyle of consistency. Notice I didn't say the law of consistency. I didn't say the principle of consistency. I said a lifestyle of 